is better than the Stelvio Quadrifoglio. A very interesting question. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, you join me from the driver's seat of the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio, the 503 brake horsepower SUV that Alfa Romeo have given me for the week. But today, I've brought my mate Dave along behind me. He has an SVR Range Rover, a 2017 550 brake horsepower model. And we're gonna take him for a leisurely drive. We're going to see what these cars are like pitch them against each other. How much carbon fibers in the interior? How fast are they? How much trouble can you get yourself in when the petrol light comes on and you're worried about how far away the nearest petrol station is? But we've got full tanks, we are brimmed to the max, but let's get on the road. We're gonna find some awesome roads, devour some serious amount of petrol in this video and decide whether this 503 brake horsepower Quadrifoglio is better or is the SVR better? We'll find out. these cars together today. Race mode is engaged. Dave has put his in the sport mode that the Range Rover Sport SVR has. And as you can hear, I'm gonna stop the video here and give you guys a couple of seconds of solid engine note from that SVR. soundtrack to have behind your car the five litre supercharged engine in that svr pumps out 550 brake horsepower from the factory with one godly sound i mean it just sounds biblical coming down the road that thing it sounds like an absolute tank when it shifts gears it pops and bangs on overrun it is just insanity coming out the back of a range rover sport people aspire to have the SVRs and I completely see why. I've driven my fair share of Range Rovers, especially the new one, and I've got to admit that one with the seats, with the carbon fiber inside, with the seating position, which is higher than this Stelvio, it does feel monstrous. It does feel like a tank going down the road and the interior of the obviously new Range Rover Sport, it's incredibly nice. So we pulled over to have a quick look around these two because I want to pitch them against each other, just like we did with Josh in his S15. So we're gonna go with the finger and fist test to start with. This is on air suspension, so you're able to lower it down. It is on the lowest setting, isn't it? It is on the lowest setting at the moment. And if we go in there with the finger, yeah, so that's that's actually one finger versus, I'll get my fist out for this one, the fist, the fist that goes in here. 20 inch wheels on the Quadrifoglio, whereas this has 22s on it, but the brakes, big, big Brembo's on these SVRs. And I'll try not to burn myself as I do this. Two fingers, between the caliper and the actual wheel. Whereas here, go over, I can just about get a finger 
in there. So, a lot of difference there. Traditional test of fist the exhaust as well. We'll come in and as you can see, there is actually a little bit more, without burning myself, a little bit more room than the Quadrifoglio with the fist test. I mean, I could just about, nah, the same sort of size, but still, I think the SVR ones are slightly bigger. The inside has carbon fiber center, carbon fiber here, has carbon on the doors there, bit of carbon on the steering wheel. So a solid, I'd say a good five to six out of 10, even these vents have got carbon on them, for the SVR, but the Quadrifoglio has carbon here, carbon there, carbon up there, and carbon on all of the doors. But as you can see there, if we come into the back of the car, this is where the solid eight to nine out of 10 comes from the option, which is these carbon fiber bucket seats, full carbon going down, look at that. So that is a one up for the Quadrifoglio. So boot test. Let's see how fast the boot comes up. And that is actually pretty quick, mate. That's, that's actually quite, quite great. Loads of boot space in there, I mean, massive. But you only have to touch it once on the key, which is pretty good going. So one touch there for the SVR. The Stelvio though, you've got to push it twice. And there's a slight delay, you see? Yeah. And you can see I meal prep because I go to the gym, apparently. <laughs> a bit slower than the SVR though, if I'm honest. And back down. There is a delay, you see, a delay. you see the delay? There's a delay yeah. in there. This is like consumer advice for anybody that wants to open their boot in the rain. Oh yeah, definitely. Because yeah. at the end of the day, if you push the button and Stand you have to wait, one you, second, you're right? just sat here like, oh, it's raining on me now and the boot ain't open. The, the Range Rover definitely has it there. So as we're here, key difference. The Alfa Romeo one is slightly larger. It's got a blank here, or at least a gap. The Range Rover one, just to, it has more buttons on it for a start. You can know. you turn your hazards on? No, you can't. You can, you can with this, you can't with that. So that's that's a difference. You can, Oh, you can flash your lights. You can. Flash yeah. your lights, put the hazards on, open the boot, unlock and lock. This has only got unlock and lock and double the boot. Difference, see, this is living with these cars. Yeah. You're gonna want more on your key at the end of the day. Right, bucket seats. As we're in uh, performance SUVs with these bucket seats, these, as you can see, have carbon fiber, carbon fiber, which is a massive selling point, but it is an option on the Stelvio. But as we jump in the SVR, there is bucket seats as standard. No carbon fiber though, but we do know of some other places that can put carbon fiber here. But something to note, this is standard, that isn't. That's an option, this is standard. Now this is the part of the video where I have to talk about pricing. Now, the Range Rover, this one, this spec, all that sort of stuff is what, 130? Around about that. 125, yeah. 130, let's just say 130 as a ballpark. The Alpha, 89. So there is a big difference in 40,000 pound nearly. It's a lot, that is, that's quite yeah, a lot. It's a lot, that's a lot yeah. of money between the two and that's optioned up. You know, the seats are an option, the carbon brakes are an option, so that's actually quite a good pack. Yeah. But that's a Range Rover. Yeah. So there, there is that. You get the Range Rover nuts. It's a rain, yeah, it's a VIP whip that's it's, fast. There you go, whereas yeah. this is like just a point yeah. and squirt tool. Yeah. I think that's probably what I'm trying to get out in this video. Yeah. Although they're pitched together quite a lot, these cars, I don't think they should be because this is like luxurious and big and a V8, like a super version of itself. Yeah. Whereas this is like a tool to go fast in. It is. There is a yeah. big difference there. But as ever guys, leave us a comment below and tell me I'm wrong because I think that that's a bit more of a precision tool and that's a VIP big bus yeah. that's comfy. That's more comfy than that is, but that's faster than that is. So although you pitch them together, they're not actually the same whatsoever. Great consumer advice as usual from the Jamie FYD channel. <laughs> 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 this, I think, changes gear faster than the SVR. I think it responds faster. Although the SVR is incredibly quick because of the supercharged engine, it does come on incredibly fast. The two turbos that are on this 2.9 litre engine in the Quadrifoglio do surge incredibly quickly. So at two and a half, 3000 RPM, we are churning that 503 brake horsepower engine down the road. Now you do see a lot of them SVRs on YouTube and people do buy them quite a lot these days to give it the absolute big one through Sloan Street. It's nice to bring it out here though and really use it in, not necessarily its element, but use it in a more exciting B-road bashing way 
because at the end of the day most of these SVRs will only see cities they won't see much of the B roads of the UK where that car performs unbelievably yes it's got more weight than the Quadrifoglio yes it is a huge thing going down the road so you've got to be very mindful of that when you are threading the needle through any B road that's where the Quadrifoglio comes into itself because this is more nimble it doesn't have the air suspension which means it's not actively trying to correct itself but it has a more stable ride I think I feel that although these cars are pitched together quite a lot they are very different in many ways that is more of a luxurious big wafty v8 where this is a bit more of a precision tool to actually go fast now both have carbon fiber inside both have a sub 20 mpg fuel figure the svr i think is 11 pretty bad this shoot we're running 17 17 on the quadrifoglio which is actually really good going considering we are enjoying ourselves pitch these two together because I'd seen it a lot I'd seen people buy the SVRs and maybe thought that the Alpha may be a car that these guys the SVR owners may be interested in, but I don't think they are and here's why this again is a tool it's a tool to go fast in the SVR is a loud thundersome thing that you just want to cruise through towns in and that is exactly why you see them in the middle of towns giving it the big one and you don't really see the Stelvios because these are more of a b-road hooning car Whereas that SVR is a sledgehammer. It's just funny to pitch them two together in a real road situation where you're both driving it, you're both enjoying both cars. I think from the side of the Quadrifoglio, it is a very nice car. It's not trying to be a VIP big thundersome thing going down the road. It is a sports car on steroids, this thing. The SVR is a luxury car on steroids and that's the difference. This is sports orientated. It has the brakes, it has the smaller wheels, it has bigger tyres, it has everything to make it go faster. That behind is a luxurious big thunderstorm coming down the road. So pitching these two cars together was a good laugh today. Thank you so much to Dave again for bringing out his SVR Range Rover. Absolutely beautiful car and top lad for buying one. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Massive thank you to Alfa Romeo again for the Stelvio for this week. I've enjoyed my time with it, pitching it against cars all week. But as ever guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.